G'day guys, how are you? Good to see you, thank you uh, for watching. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, I was just uh, making a video to, there's a lot of things going, uh, Put well, putting the puzzle together now of what's happening in California with the blackouts and the fires and the, um, I've gone to a lot of sites, uh, Dutch Sense site, he's on about the um, the magma moving, and D Dave Hodges is on about the magma. He had a lady on that said that the magma is moving, and it's through the sewers, and, and uh, the magma is on the rise. Now, what they're saying is that it could be from July when there was an earthquake. I don't know if you remember this, but there was... That video before was from AccuWeather, okay, this is saying fire ignites inside storm drain, okay, in California, right, and there was an earthquake um, in, hang on, I'll just find it for now I'm not saying anyone to blame here, but this is from Dave Hodges, the Russian attack upon China Lake has resulted in magma movement through California with potentially catastrophic results. Now, after uh, they said that there was a, a bit of a tiff between uh, three submarines or something, and that uh, was a bit secretive, resulting in deep underground earthquake attack on China Lake. Now, and that said, he said this might be explained the shutting down of PG and E. And the mystery underground explosions. The story starts with the submarine battle between the US and Russia in the early summer months of 2019. Now, um, they, they reckon there was 14 Russian, Russian sailors killed, and he got this from his uh, sources, his uh, linked sources. But it says that um, they were on a special mission. Apparently, I don't know if it's this is. Well, Dave Rogers is pretty good. I mean, he's got good. Uh, good uh, sources and stuff, you know, and they even named what the submarines were, a BS-64, which reportedly serves as a mothership for Lost Shank, the small nuclear-powered submarine supposed to ride closer to the mission area underneath the larger BS-64, so where it, this gets really interesting, the drive went on to say the following, I'll, I'll leave a link so you can uh, read that, but it says here, following the submarine battle, there were emergency meetings all over the world. Air Force Two was recalled with Vice President Pence on it. He promptly cancelled all engagement and returned to the White House. Emergency meeting were, were taking place at the White House this afternoon. The, the Vice President Pence being called back to the White House and having to cancel his scheduled trip to New Hampshire. Now I looked that up. It did. They did. He did. He did in July. Pence cancelled New Hampshire trip. Right. He uh, abruptly. Uh, cancel a trip this month to New Hampshire to discuss opioid epidemic. Now, well, they make stories up and, and, and everything, but uh, so I looked that up. That was legit. And um, then I went to Dutch Census uh, channel there, and it says here California earthquakes leave naval station China Lake not mission capable. So I looked that up as well. And there it is there, a California State Route 178 SW of Trona following the 7.1 earthquake road is now closed for repairs. So, San Diego, two major earthquakes struck Southern California late last week. This was back then. Uh, opened fault lines at the Naval Air Weapons uh, Station, China Lake, and prompted officials to evacuate residents. Okay. So, it was, it, uh, China Lake is a weapons station for the Army, or the Navy, uh, and uh, they had damage uh, to uh, 6.4 to 7.1. That was in July, is it? Yeah, back in July, yeah, see there's a road, so uh, it did uh, do a lot of damage. Now, I went to Dutch Census one, um, which is this one, I think, yeah, and Global Earth, California fires next to the quake locations. Now, so he's saying that the fires or explosions were near where the earthquakes are, right? So what that what people are saying or what these all these videos and whatever are saying that especially this one um with dave hodges is saying that this lady that come on she's pretty experienced she said um that it could be all linked you know and P and &E knew these things that's why they're shutting it down 
But the problem is, guys, I haven't heard all these. All I've looked up to see what's going on with this earthquake, fires, and everything, and, and you know, and PG&E shutdown. All the videos are four days old. I haven't seen any latest ones. Have you guys? If you if you have, let me know. But I've been looking it up. They're all four days old. So what's going on? It's got a, a bit of a blackout, right? I know they haven't got power, but <laughs> door. That's blonde, isn't it? I'm saying that's a blonde way of saying it. Uh, but what I'm saying is, what's happening? You know. So is this all linked, guys? It, was there an, a, some kind of attack on on China Lake, and then? Is the magma, and it's caused the magma to run, and it's leaking, and they said it, if it leaks more, you know, it's going to do a lot of damage to the fault line. So, I don't know, guys, it's all looking pretty suspicious to me. Anyway, but I'll leave a link to Dave Hodges, because listen to this lady, because um, she's quite good, um, and they reckon the magma is moving through California underneath. And, well, you can see by that pothole thing, right? Right? This thing here, right? It, it, it's the smoke and the, and the, it's all coming through. And there is a fire underneath in, into, into the, into, oh, what's that? Into there, well, it's, there it is there, see? Wow, eh? So, it is legit. Anyway, I thought I'd show you all that, guys. So, um, I was just sort of going from one place to one place, and it, it sort of, you know, you put three and three together, and, and two and two makes five. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll leave the link. I was looking at the China Lake. Looks a bit weird, but um, what I was going to say, guys, is uh, is that another reason why um, Donald Trump pulled out the troops out of um, Syria? You don't know, do you? I mean. Everything's sort of adding up like little jigsaw piece puzzles, you know what I mean? I mean, I think uh, people that, like yourselves and myself, that are aware and are awake to what's happening, uh, uh, I, I think that I was saying to a friend, I think I feel privileged and honoured that that uh, that God has, has, you know, opened our eyes against all this stuff that's happening in the world. It's pretty... Uh, it's run by not very nice people, and um, we can see through a lot of the stuff, you know. And everything I question, I question everything. I'm a friend of all the people that aren't aware. For it. I don't say wait because someone said, "Oh, you sound like that person." Those people who come to the door to door, you know, and have the awake brochure. I'm like, what? So I say aware. <laughs> um, yeah, and. You know, it's hard to talk to anybody about this stuff. Uh, I've only got a couple of people I can talk to, you know. And that's probably why I'm single still. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine if, you know, you sat there with your partner saying, Oh, babe, what about uh, that volcano? What about those that China Lake? What about that uh, sun simulator? What about uh, 5G? What about chemtrails? I mean, it, they'd look at and go, Wow. Well, what the? I know, right? It would be pretty weird. I don't, you have to shut up, right? And, you know, you can get a bit down with that. And I think, I was talking to a friend the other day, and I think we should be honoured and privileged that God has chosen us to see through a lot of stuff. I'm not special. It's just that we can see through stuff, and, and God has opened our eyes to these sort of things. And... God did say this would happen at the end days. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, all this stuff is in the Bible. It's, you know, the end, like days of Noah. And the stuff they're doing in the schools and stuff, oh, it's just shocking. I just saw a video about the fight, the birds dropping down uh, with uh, the 5G. But that's another um, video. All right, guys, so take care. God bless. Stay safe. I've got another one coming up about the story I had about uh, the FEMA moving in California. I've got another one coming after this, so make sure you watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very interesting, guys. So, love yous all. Love yous all. Take care. Bye, guys.